CCA Hi-Fi is one of those brands that really sound good at affordable price. That's what many audiophiles tell me or claim to be. But this is the first time I'm reviewing one of CCA products featuring Plana Magnetic, uh, one of the affordable Plana Magnetic IEMs in the market right now. And at this price point, it's also competing with the likes of the KZ AS16 Pro, which a lot of audiophiles call this the king of IEMs. I uncrowned it in the last earlier video. I didn't call it a king. If you check the video, I suggest checking that before watching this video. You will understand why I did so. But the question is, and comment down below who you think would win. Plana Magnetic versus multiple balance amateur drivers enough? Let me know in the comments. The CCA PLA 13 earbuds come in black color with the option to have microphone cable. The housing is mostly plastic as you're seeing right now. So the faceplate right here has the very fancy design, very gamery, very agey, very cyberpunk. And it makes people like me who is 30 plus trying to feel young, this is one earbuds to consider if you are into design. Now aside from that, there is metal grills on the top and on the bottom of the plastic housing right here. That serves as design only, I don't think it allows air movement to pass through because I shine through the light and I don't see any pathway for the grill to send any air movement to the drivers for better base response. So take it as a grain of salt right there. Now each earbuds right here weighs 6.6 gram. Together with the cable, the overall weight is 28 grams. Now the cable right here is exactly the same cable found on the KZ AS16 Pro that I reviewed earlier. The cables is the over-the-ear type with the silicon tube preheated to shape. Now, it uses an oxygen-free copper cable with silver coating to minimize oxygen effect long term. The cable is a bit soft, it gets tangled up easily. I wish CCA and KZ also included a Velcro strap. Now, the Y joints right here is a simple plastic tab which is a bummer. Now, one thing good is the cable is see-through which I fancy. Now, the package also comes included with two extra pairs of ear tip sizes. I wish CCA also included a soft carrying pouch to store everything right here. If bulky bifold wallets is annoying you in terms of taking in and out of your pants as well as giving you a weird fashion look that you have a bulge out of your pants, you may want to consider something compact and ultra thin like the Exa Smart Wallet right here. With a push of a button, you have quick access to all your cards, maybe for speedier payment or carrying government essential IDs. More importantly, everything right here is protected because the wallet is RFID protected. No longer the days where you have to flip up your bifold, pick up the card, tap your card, put back the card, then take the receipt, put back the receipt, close the wallet, put in your pants, and maybe if you're rushed, you have to hold your wallet like this. It looks awkward versus holding something like this. I have the Axa Senate card holder which holds 6 cards easily in the main holder. While the elastic pocket strap allows you to add more cards or hold some cash, even better, I suggest getting the optional ultra thin solar powered tracker card where you can use your smartphone to find your wallet or your wallet to find your smartphone. In a compact, ultra thin, lightweight, smart wallet by Axa right here. So if you're interested to get one, you can use my affiliate links down below in the video description as well as a first pin comment for a 20% summer sales discount at the moment they are running a campaign. However, if you miss out on the summer sale event, no worries, there's always other discounts coming in months time. So you can use my affiliate links anytime and you get smarter every day. CCA PLA 13 earbuds uses a 13.2 dual-sided planar magnetic driver setup. Now, CCA refers this as dual cavity with two different magnet arrays creating the sound wave. One benefit we expect to see from planar magnetic drivers is fast hitting bass, clear mids, and sharper highs in theory. My test is based on the MacBook Pro 14-inch M1 Pro at the 4th volume mark. Now, recently, I came across uh, a song called Why Don't We? How Do You Love Somebody? That combo with this IEM has a lot of fast hitting bass that really sounds nice with the snares and bass and boom 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 it's just surreal now let's talk about the main review right here before i get too excited the bass packs great amount of power the bass vibration ends with a smooth fade the bass is the fast hitting type and the fast ending type 
Uh, it's a tight base in short. The good news is the base does not eat into the mids or the highs. There's a clear separation between the range. Now, when it comes to the mids or the vocals, it do sound crystal clear with the right amount of shine. It's not overpowered much by the bass and if you use these IMs and listen to Far East Movement for real love, it's just, just eargasm. It's just so sharp and so direct into your face, the vocals, just nice. Now, when it comes to the highs or the instrumentals, it's the crystal clear type with the right amount of shine tuned to it. It's like a lot of IMs in the market that has super shine and super razor sharp highs, but they have that distortion at the highs, this one does not have that weird high pitch distortion. So a very plus point right here, very well tuned drivers. It's not easy to tune Plana Magnetic. It's easy to tune Blender's Armature Driver but never Plana Magnetic. So Anomis right here. Now the highs is more notable than the bass in terms of audible level wise. There's a distinct separation between the bass and the highs. Thus, I would say the high frequency right here is distraction free. So here's the short summary. The earbuds right here perform well from the ultra lows to the highs. Suitable if you like frontal type of vocals, very sharp highs, tight bass control without wacky ends or loose bass vibration that just wobbles its way into mids and highs and eat into it. Plus, it's not cheap to make planar magnetic drivers. So this is their first attempt. I would say very good. And plus, Despite they chip out on the cables and overall packaging, the sound quality is amazing for the price point that it's offering. So here's the long summary. The CCA PLA 13 Planar Magnetic and the KZ AS16 Pro Multi-Balance Armature Driver Server is almost at the similar price point on Lin. So I'll provide the links to them in the description as well as the first pin comment. It's an affiliate link that gives us a little bit kickback so we can survive in this YouTube space. Now, one thing to note is the Planar Magnetic do take a little bit more power to drive them to sound right. So on the MacBook, it's around the 4th to 5th volume mark. Whereas on the KZ, it's about the second to third volume mark. So balanced amateur driver do takes less power. But power is one thing, we need to talk about the frequency range. Let's talk about the low frequencies and bass comparing the two IEMs right here. So let's start with the CCA PLA 13 right here. It is slightly more audible in comparing to the KZ. It's fast hitting, it does not eat into the mids and the highs, there's a wide separation. So one thing to note is the bass on the CCA do fade a little bit quicker. So this is a tight control bass type. Whereas the KZ right here, this has a looser bass vibration that allows it to have long bass drag and you can hear the subtle bass vibration. However, it does eat slightly into the mids and significantly into the highs or make the highs a little bit more muddy than expected. But Let's talk about the main important part in my life, vocals, the mid-range. Now the CCA right here, there's a little bit more shine in the vocals and it feels very frontal, very excited, very lively and very upbeat, very tense. So I like it uh, for J-pop uh, specifically, I love a lot of anime music where I want to hear the very sharp beautiful angelic voice and crystal high definition 4k this is one to consider whereas the kz right here is a totally 180 turn i would say the kz is equally frontal like the cca but it has the sound signature being a little bit more warm a little bit more moody a little bit more uh, relaxed so it's very uh gentle to your ears. So if you love uh, listening to Christmas carols like uh, Jackie Ivanko, Acapella, uh, Orchestra, definitely this would shine. So if you like your vocals to be a warmy tone, the KZ would reign supreme. Now, another part in my life that I factor one important thing is saxophone, piano, violins, high instrumentals, high frequency. So the CCA right here packs razor sharp high tones yet well tuned enough not to have those uh, high pitch distortions at the highs and each notes like the snares like the piano is distinct it's more notable than the bass uh, audio level wise so it just be just front in your face it's just packing power into your face up to your face da, 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 da. done but the kz oh boy kz <sighs> 
this is why it couldn't rain king of IEM in my last review. Do check out my last review on these babies right here. I did a detailed analysis on these earbuds right here. The KZ lacks the necessary shine to make it amazing. It is the warm sounding tone. It's just too much warm at the highs. It's just very muddy. It makes the highs and the uh, high frequency instrumentals to be pushed back and distracted by the bass significantly. So, all I can say right here is very simple. The CCA is all about clarity, speed, and bass control, whereas the KZ is more on the moody warm tone, bass vibe, and naturally sounding. So if you want to differentiate them, it's quite simple. CCA is like the young virgin girl. She's not experienced, but she's very fun and exciting. And Anything you want to do as a young person, you can be with her. You follow her every movement, follow her every action, and you're good to go. Whereas if you are someone like me who is broken hearted, who is 30 years old and still single, getting married soon but I'm still single, definitely I want someone with experience. It's a little bit gentle. She caresses for me. She is uh, care for me. She talks smoothly in my ears. She arouses me beautifully, gently. The KZ is like so. So sorry to explain in a sexual manner, but these are two different IEMs in the same price point competing with each other. So clarity versus warm. You pick your poison, but let me know in the comments below which IEMs right here you prefer and what IEMs I should review next from Linso. Let me try to request from them so I can keep you guys excited in more earbuds reviews and IEMs reviews. Till then, I'll see you guys in the next review because I'm talking too much. So. Uh, again, links in the video description and please subscribe to the channel.